In this video, we'll address two things related to test execution. First, how test execution can be done at scale and at speed across multiple target platforms and different environments. Second, how to execute tests as a part of a fully bidirectional or integrated CI-CD pipeline. To demonstrate this, we'll use Parasoft's Thin Client ecosystem. For a more detailed overview of the interface, you can find a link in the previous video in the description below. So here, let's say I'm testing an application's new features with some UI tests and some API testing. But I want to have some control over the environment. So I'm provisioning my test environment and then executing a series of tests. So I'm executing some API tests, and here's a UI test. And what we'll see in this case is that there's an error in my application stack. Parasoft's thin client architecture helps me diagnose test failures here through monitoring. I can immediately get access to the reports as well as understand any components in my ecosystem that may be unavailable, unstable, or offline. These endpoints can then be swapped out for virtual services that represent their functionality to stabilize the environment. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna choose a simulated virtual environment, which I created from traffic for these virtual services. Then. I'll use test data management engine to push some new data into those. And then I'm going to reprovision the environment. So I can define my library of test cases and virtual services in conjunction with each other. So I know that the test cases I'm building will have supporting environments available from the very beginning. I like to call this a proactive approach to environment management that makes the test cases that execute more stable. Here I see that the test case has executed successfully. Looks like the UI was in the background there, but it was using virtual services. Then I can dive down and look at the different information that I have for the execution and understand to which requirements each individual test case is associated. I can also understand what of my entire API landscape I touched. This helps me understand where I might have risk introduced into my application through limited coverage. This ecosystem can be provisioned, as you've seen here, in a manual way or through REST APIs in any build system. For simple integration, we have built plugins for many common build systems. For example, let's jump into Jenkins, and I'll show you how the same test environment would be provisioned there. We can go into any particular job, and in these jobs, Parasoft has build steps for provisioning an environment. And upon success or failure, we will consume those results back here into the build system through Parasoft's Findings plugin. Should you be successful or fail in your tests, you can pass or reject the build and the code check-in based on the success or failure of the functional test execution. The best part is that if you have a failed build, you can drill right back into the virtual or live environment that was used to produce those results. So you can replay or reprovision that environment as you're working through the defect and have a simulated or real environment with just the right conditions. In addition to sending data back to the CI infrastructure, test results can be published to Parasoft's reporting and analytics dashboard for aggregation with quality data across the development process. You could also correlate all this data with agile planning and test management systems such as Jira, CollabNet, Version 1, QMetry, HP, Microfocus, ALM, etc. As an example, let's look at Jira. Here in the reporting and analytics dashboard, we can bring in data from across quality practices. These dashboards are highly customizable. Now I'll switch to looking at the functional test data. Here you can see that data from across a variety of different test scenarios, trending test results, and code coverage over a series of builds. Here I can drill down into the results for the latest build and review the tests. The test case explorer gives me the ability to look at specific tests review the pass-fail status, code coverage for a specific test, and if the failure represents a new defect, as opposed to a failure due to infrastructure stability, for example, then I can create an issue directly in JIRA. Now, some of these tests might be associated with existing issues or user stories within JIRA, and this is where traceability reporting comes in. So returning to the dashboard, I can see that I have 46 stories, we can see pass-fail information displayed against each of those stories. Drilling down gives me access to the details about these stories. Here, you can see the quality data, test failures, static analysis findings, and the results of code reviews all automatically associated with each of the stories, 
providing complete bi-directional integration with the system of record and full visibility into the quality of the build. So now let's get into how you can better focus and optimize test execution. As your organization's testing practice matures, the time it takes to execute your suite of tests will grow. So it's critical to optimize the execution of the test suite to facilitate continuous testing. And one of the best ways to optimize execution is by focusing on change. With change impact analysis, we can understand what code in each of our tests is covered. And when that code changes, identify which subset of tests we need to execute in order to validate that change. This capability is available in the Parasoft ecosystem across all automated testing practices, as well as in unit testing. So users can automatically rerun tests that are impacted by changes in the code, both directly within the developer's IDE and integrated into the build as a part of the CI.